We will read Vilapa Kusumanjali verse number 77. Will the joy of my eyes increase when I see one maiden swiftly and happily bringing various blooming flowers big gunja beads and peacock feathers while Hari makes the braid of my Swamini with this he shivers and her whole body blooms up with goose pimples. Will the joy of my eyes increase when I see one maiden swiftly and happily bringing various blooming flowers, big gunja beads and peacock feathers, while Hari makes the braid of my Swamini with this, he shivers and her whole body blooms up with goose pimples. In a transcendental vision, Shiragunath perceives how sweetly Nagara is dressing Swamini. And when he loses this vision, he prays. Now he sees how Swamini's hair is being done. When will your braided hair give my eyes great ecstasy. This braid is being beautified by Hari with various flowers, gunja beads, peacock feathers, and other items. Your body will be studded with goose pimples. How delighted my eyes will be when your hair becomes so beautiful. It is unusual to make a girl's braid with peacock feathers. Radha and Mohana have made love before Tulsi spoke this verse. Now Radhika wears a yellow cloth and Krishna a blue one. They have exchanged dresses, unable to distinguish between each other anymore. As a result of reaching a climax of loving ecstasy, Swamini now 
has the peacock feather crown on. And Mohana has braided hair and a jewel in his hair. The cause of this confusion is their absorption in their erotic pastimes. In the Rasa Shastra, the scriptures that deal with spiritual flavors, this is called Prema Vilasa Vivarta. And it has two characteristics, contrariety and confusion. Srila Jiva Goswami writes in his Gopala Champu, when Sri Radha is with Sri Krishna, she is also separated from him. And when she is separated from him, she is also together with him. In the same way, she experiences all conditions to be contrary. At home, she feels like being in the forest. In the forest, she feels like being at home. She feels a moment lasts like a millennium. And a millennium lasts like a moment. She feels happy in sorrow and sad in happiness. She feels awake when she's sleeping and she feels like she's sleeping when she's awake. She feels cold when it is hot and she feels hot when it is cold. Not only that, but the most wonderful thing is that she also feels like she is Krishna and Krishna feels like he is her. Radhe Radhe I think that we should let us a bit stop here because so many nice explanations are given but also so many nice explanations are hidden And through our deep absorption in the words, first of all, of Raghunath. Si, va benissimo. And after that, through the words of Anantadas Babaji, we can grasp some very intimate moments between Radhika and her lover, but also we can grasp the position of King Kari in this most exalted, intimate moments between Radha and Krishna. Why this is most exalted? Because intensity of love between these 
two transcendental lovers, Yugala Kishore, is so strong that it brings, in their con consciousness, it brings confusion. So we can imagine how love, or maybe we cannot imagine, but we can try to imagine, how long, how deep, strong, intense love for each other is when they come in this situation of complete confusion, vivarta. And Baba is mentioning here this prema, vilasa, vivarta. So this kind of confusion between lovers is not ordinary confusion between two materialistic girl and boy. This is confusion out of prema and not even ordinary prema. It's confusion which is result of connection between Mahabhava embodiment of Mahabhava and Rasika Shekhar Krishna. So when they are together, we know Prema and Rasa brings Ananda. But this is general explanation. And here we can see which kind of Ananda this union can bring. Sorry. So this, this Ananda is very special Ananda and it describes like a prema vilasa vivarta ananda. Ananda, bliss, state of heart and mind, existence, identity, which brings person to the point of complete confusion. And which kind of confusion is? that person forget who is he and thinks I am actually my lover. And lover in the same thing reciprocate and say I also forget who am I and I think that I am my beloved. So this, this is vivarta, confusion, because Radhika thinks I am Krishna, and Krishna thinks I am Radhika. This is special kind of ananta, ananda, and kinkaris are witnessing this. And not only witnessing, they are trying to serve the best, in the best way, how they can do it. And they are doing it with great joy, happiness, because they feel Ananda of Yuga Lakishore. We cannot serve Yuga Lakishore Kishore with morose mind, heart, but only with bliss. And this Prema Vilasa Vivarta, Baba explaining different contrary feelings which are 
present in Radhika. When she is at home, she thinks I am in the forest. When she is with Krishna, she thinks I'm separate from her, him. When I'm with Krishna, I'm separate from him. And when I'm separate from him, I'm with him. This is confusion out of intense love. Pure love. It's not kama vivarta, uh, kama vilasa vivarta of materialistic persons. It's prema vilasa vivarta of embodiment of prema, embodiment of mahabhava. And Later on, it will explain more about this specific feeling of confusion so that devotees, sadhakas can relish it. And the best way to relish is true spiritual identity through Swarup. Because in that way, so many levels of that beautiful Vilas, Lila, can be discovered, relished, and by the mercy realized. And This is the peak, climax, last limit of the beautiful, loving pastimes of Radha and Krishna. When they lose completely the sense, who am I? And instead of that, they think, I am my beloved. And this is also, <coughs> maybe devotees will remember, the peak, last limit of conversation between Ramananda Roy and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when Ramananda Roy start to, to say something, about this specific prema vilasa vivarta state of love. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, stop, stop, and put his hand on his mouth. Don't talk about that anymore. Because this is the top secret, in the same time, this is the climax of loving exchange, when they are so close, so in this pranaya mood, when their hearts are melting for each other, that this liquid of their heart is like a nectar and mixing together, provoking this vivarta, confusion, And Ramananda Roy said to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu this, and it's very interesting, these things he never told before. He never read in the scriptures before. Only by the mercy of Goranga, this realization came through his mind. Uh, through his mouth, sorry. It's never happened in the history of all Vaishnavism 
that this truth is revealed. So from that point, we can make so many other links, other connections, and ultimately, we will reach to Sri Radhika and also Gauranga, who is the manifestation of these two melted hearts who love each other so much that they become one. So I tried to say something, but came to my mind and heart to give some hints, connections, and if someone wants to add, please, Gurudev, Gauravan, others, I cannot see Radha Charan. Oh, yes, five minutes, five, yes. Please go ahead. Ramananda Rai said, ah, the slope that I am, uh, I, I don't know, I am Raman or Ramani. So, uh, I am Raman or Ramani. The stage comes when this confusion starts. Raman or Ramani. So, I am, I am Raman or Ramani. Then Mahaprabhu closed the mouth. So you see, the first uh, beginning is start from the hair. Why it is start from the hair? Because Radhika love her hair. Why? Because it's a black. It's a mind to her about Krishna. So she becomes mad when she sees her hair. She becomes mad to see her and she starts meditating in Krishna. And by this meditation, she is in the forest of home. She is alone, but she will come in a home. She is not with Krishna, but she is become in a home. Forest means alone. But she sees feel in the home. And she starts by so much thinking about Krishna, she becomes Krishna. She feels that she is Krishna. And when Krishna sees the hair, you know, see the is black, he sees Radhika's hair. And this is not a work of male to decorate the hair of female, Radhika. So he starts decorating the hair. That time, Krishna becomes Radhika and he is making the hair of Radhika, he become Radhika, female, to make Krishna beauty. He is not here for Rad Krishna. He is a beautiful making Krishna in a mood of Radhika. 
Radhika is become Krishna to decorate the hair. That I am decorating my lover Krishna only by looking the hair. So both are forget who are they, and they want to merge. Krishna want to merge in Radha bhav, or Radha must want to merge in the Krishna bhav. So they are not alone. They are alone, but they feel in a home because of the meditation. Is a feeling to grow is a spiritual life. And if this feeling grows with your sarup, your sambandha become more intense, the spiritual sambandha. That is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And these feelings only Radha Dasi can feel and realize it because Madhanakya Mahabhav, one drop will come, then feeling can go. So, yeah. Gurudev, I remember your words, and uh, but I don't remember actually. No, I, I don't remember the words. But one day you made a point which I remember like that. So please forgive me if I cannot give you words, but. It's inspired by your thoughts and your sharing. So we may think that we can serve one in love. So from our uh, material conception, it would be like, I think what I can do for the other person. This is already high. But in the case of Radharani and her beloved, it's like they feel what the other person actually wants, and they are diving in that so much that they forget who they are. That's another level. If I'm so much in the feeling of the other person, then I may think, oh, I would like to have an ice cream. But this is actually not my feeling and not my thought. It's the feeling of the other person. But I identify with this feeling because I love this person so much that I identify with the feelings and wishes in the heart of the other person. That's another level. So maybe it's good for meditating on that. Even if you are married or you have a person who, who you love, we may try to meditate in, in some practical seva. And of course, if we have some a deity, then we may meditate on that. Because this is the start, this is the beginning of this process. So we don't meditate what I want or what I would think the person wants, but we try to really meditate on the feeling of the other person, dive in the feelings of the other person, because this is actually how it's possible that you forget yourself. Radharani is feeling like Krishna. She doesn't have to think what Krishna wants. She's completely impact and vice versa. So Mohan feels exactly the feeling of Radha.
Cash it on here. Sorry, I hope I could somehow transfer that in some yeah. limited words. So, as I understood, Goravani words, Vani, this is the reason why the love exchange between Radhika and Krishna is most sublime exchange of love. Because both of them, when they are together, they can feel the hearts of each other and fulfill desires of each other. And because of this strong intention of their hearts to fulfill desires of beloved hearts, they are coming in position when they are in pranay, when they are together and they are losing identity, they are melting with each other. And this, this kind of love is actually source of all love which exists. But the source is so unique, they don't lose in one way, they don't lose in an impersonal way their identity, but they exchange identities. It's not merging identity, as I understood you, but they exchange identity. Radhika is thinking, I'm Krishna, because I love him so much, and I think of him, and he is also thinking, I am Radhika. Our words Thinking becomes so intense. Things become so intense that she no need to think even. She is living in that bhav. That is how. Think. Thinking means I am in forest. She, if she starts living that she is a Krishna. Because of the intense meditation, she much like a seed become, she is Krishna. And when Krishna come and see her hair, beautiful hair, she much to meditate in the hair of beautiful hair. Mm. And this beautiful hair of Radhika, he start thinking and emerge in the Radha Bhav, because this only feelings has the Radhika. He much by looking her hair, the waves are also coming to him, Radha Bhav, and is much inside Krishna, and he become female. He she start feeling Radha herself and want to decorate the hair. Because the Radha is looking the hair, black is a Krishna. Here also he is meditating in black Krishna, in mood of Radha. That is Prema Virvarta. So what you say is a forest alone? No, they are in home together. And when they are together, they feel forest. Why? Because in half an hour they have to go and Radhika starts crying. Biraha, she starts living in the Biraha. So, living together and feeling forest alone. 
Radhika is saying, Gurudev, when I'm separate from him, actually I'm more with him yeah. than when I'm united with him. Yeah. And when I'm with him physically, I feel such a strong separation from him. Yeah. That is Prima This is Prima And then different variations of lilas are coming mm -hmm. from that initial feelings of loving confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Exchanging the clothes. <laughs> Exchanging. Well, my, my room, you see that. That is Radha is sitting in the lap of Krishna. And she is crying because she cannot see the face. And Krishna is also with Radha. And they cannot see the face. And both are tears for the tears. Tears. Why? They are not between each other and they think they are far. They are in forest. We are So Radhe Gurdi, yeah. at that moment, the mandris, they are not right. confused, are they? Monday, are we looking? Other cannot see that. This is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Saki has no chance to see. Because Saki and Gopis are looking when they are in the group in this position only manjari can feel it prema vivarta this is manjari bhav the highest prema vishetri these are very, very personal servants watch this, who is very close to Radhika. One pointer who fits with Radhika. So Guru Dev Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <clears throat> relished this prema vilasa vivarta when he was in manjari mood in manjari bhav they, without manjari bhav this rasa is not coming yes realization cannot come this was not before in srimad bhagavatam Any scriptures, any rasa sampradaya, I see this house are only clear by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I know it's everyone's line. I know all right. They are Saki Bhavs. They are not practicing my So this is the difference between Saki Bhav and Gopi Bhav and Madhuri. Gopi and Sakis cannot go so far, close. They can go up to Krishna, not the personal 
feeling of Radhika and personal prema vivarta of Krishna. They cannot realize it. So this is the reason why also they cannot serve someone who is in the position of Prema Vivarta. And in that way, position of Manjaris is so unique. They are relishing this Prema Vivarta Ananda, but also because they are Seva Rupaya, they are only one who can serve this Vivarta. And like Suniti said, not to yeah, be yeah. under this confusion. So this is the answer yeah, yeah. actually for This is the answer for yeah. many questions. Why Manjari cannot do this and do this and that does this? Because they are not under Vivarta, they are not intoxicated, they are not mad. Because automatically it will be Gopi Bhav. Thank you, Sunil. Gopi why? Because gold is Krishna. Krishna happiness. How feelings can grow, Mahabhav can how grow. Sri I've become King Kiri to feel it, and that is the gift of Ketanama. It's real gracefulness, Audarya. Real. Topmost. We do not accept. Mahaprabhu Radha Bhav also Krishna want to relish the Manjari Bhav. He want to be a student of Radhika. These things are not clear in our life. We not enter in Manjari Bhav. Then we have a blockage of Gopi Bhav. So can we say, Gurudev, that this is the highest state of selfishness, of not being selfish? No, the highest being of selfish of our sarupa ways. Selfishness in sarup will come. This will happen. And this sarup selfishness, what we will not try to say, that Radha Dasi Oy Abhiman, Abhiman, proudness, selfishness, that I am loudly, I can say that Radha Das. Abhiman is a false ego, no? they say. But okay, do it that. Become greedy for this, Rati for that. And Bhakti I could say, do it. Become selfish in your sorrow. Why not to do it? <laughs> Mahajan Gata Subantha. Right, Suniti? <laughs> yes, Guruji. By your mercy, it will happen. Abhiman is selfishness. Abhiman means 
सेल्फ कॉन्सेप्शन को दे बलराम yes good uh, very nice thank you <laughs> very beautiful go on hmm. this means that they exchange nature uh nature not action the boy start making hair not nature okay they exchange nature and thus they may be found wearing each other's dresses and ornaments radhe 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 also wants gurudev to change the nature of his material existence yeah yes <laughs> so krishna is enjoy she want to enjoy <laughs> he become very Krishna. No, but what Gora uh, Goranga Sundara wants to say, Gurudev, that when we meditating on Shri Mati Radhika service, also we have to become so crazy that our whole nature of you know material nature will be completely uh, you know exchanged. Yes, that naturally. Very nice. And I remember you always uh, quoted, or you you remember your god brother, uh, Mohan Baba. Mm. He was. I never. I was not so lucky to have his darshan. But um, by your description, you said that his nature changed so much. The people even think that he was a lady. He became so much absorbed. Yeah, let's put. Unnecessary. Why did they to the Baba? They have here a big, big bird, you know, Baba and everything. But you, you go and see, he is like a child. Baba means child, baby. Private behavior become like a child. You know, Narayan Maharaj story. I say you, Madam Maharaj control to the Narayan Maharaj. I was sitting one time, and he liked to eat puri, garam garam, hot puri. And Madam Maharaj, he liked to say to some uh, devotee, lady devotee, to bring, bring. Master, he would like to bring Madam Mara jump out. Then she starts shouting, "Why are you giving to him? Not give, not give." Then he go after some work. Then bring, bring, bring more gift to him. So like this, ideally, he want to take. So he, he was like a child. 
he is fearful with his own disciples <laughs> like a baby that is the real childish nature no? he, he, he has to worry about the mother maharaj or anyone what he like he can do but he is respecting and he is in child nature so he is okay <laughs> We have heard, Gurudev, there's also some of your disciples that you have some fear. <laughs> <laughs> Not in that position. <laughs> but I fear, sure. <laughs> but my position is very basic. <laughs> श्री राधे या Time is moving very fast, but madam. <laughs> Samai, something is wrong with your mic? Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Can you hear me? Yes. No, yes I had no. some in break. Oh. Oh, this means and thus yeah. <laughs> and thus growing by 90 are in your classes my god it was only Japanese Christians are growing my dear wow we are very thankful to Japanese devotees. They are increasing our numbers, you know. They maybe want to change passports, Gurudev. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they are changing their nature, Gurudev. <laughs> they are so nice. Japan, they are special. They are all coming now. They are so special, so special. That is to learn from them behavior. They are so much devotional, so kind-hearted, you cannot see them. Yes, they will come night 12, and all they will go to Mangala Arti at home. Surprising for me. Wow. I went to the Japan, Jananda, I asked how much uh, uh, time to this time to this time class is uh, from nine to five. I said, What? So nine to five is the class. <laughs> I said, No break. It's only one hour for the lunch. I thought, Are you joking about it? <laughs> for me, the first time that nine to five to give the talking and class. <laughs> it's, uh, one hour is sufficient for Europe. Nobody is ready to listen up after one hour. And they said, nine to five. I said, are you joking or what? For me, it was the first time to listen that word. Then I said, are you joking? He said, no, 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 nine to five. <laughs> and one hour rest only for lunch. Right or not, Ravani? You see. Yes, you see, this is the really is happening like this. And they have a pen and pencil recording everything. Everything they have up to date recording, writing, everything goes similar. So 
so you have to be very serious in subject. You cannot say what you like. So if you go to Japan, be careful. Nine to five, you have no holiday. Only one hour for lunch. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> this Madhana Rasa is the assemblage of the entire variety of transcendental amorous ecstasies. Yeah. And these ecstasies are all eternally present in Sri Radha. Wow. Mm. So can I question to, to, sorry, can I ask a question to Goranga Sunda because I know you were so expert. What is the difference between this Madana Rasa and this Ujwala Rasa? Is this the same or is this some other category? Can you please explain? Gurudev, do you want to help your poor foolish disciple? No, no, my foolish <laughs> 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 Who not to grant him, they are a little foolish. No, I'm happy <laughs> to be foolish. I'm very happy to be foolish. It's such a relieving no, state of mind okay. and ego. But be happy to be foolish, then she will receive you, give hug to you. But they are not foolish who become rather. These are not my words, but they will not. Okay, so my beloved Didi is putting me in this very nice, foolish situation, and I'm very, very thankful to her. So, what can I say is you ask between Madana Rasa and Ujwal Ras. My understanding is that Madana Rasa or Madana Mahabhav also is present in Shimati Radharani. All different emotions, <coughs> all different emotions which are compatible or which are in different oppositions are present in Radhika. And not even that. All these emo emotions which are present in Shimata Radharani are the highest from all other Sundaris Sakis, her emotions are most, most unlimitedly high. We can imagine like an ocean of emotions with waves which are so huge that we cannot find the limit of that waves. Each wave is one of emotion which is completely unlimited in the high, on the high level. And when these emotions clash to each other because of this, See? because of intensity of love, then we call complete 
madness. Madana Mahabhav. And this madness makes Krishna mad. Other gopis, they also have some kind of Mahabhav, but they don't have uh, this kind of unlimited, strong, clashing waves of emotion in their hearts. And they cannot, because of this lack, they cannot make Krishna to dance, to faint. He is happy with them, but he cannot faint. Only Radhika, who has such a unlimited, strong, intense emotions, can force him that he spontaneously spin around. And this is Madana. But Ujvalaras is when they are together. Because Krishna is so attracted with this Madana that he wants to embrace Radhika to be in her embrace, in her waves of emotions. He wants to faint. He wants to be confused because of intensity of her madana. And when they are coming together, especially in Nivriti Nikonji, then becomes beautiful Ujval Ras. Raghunath Das Goswami is calling this Ujval Ras Ujvala Maharaj. Mm. If you remember, I forgot where from where, but Ujvala Maharaj. Stavavali. So yes, you are right. You are right. I read it so, yesterday, that's why I remember. <laughs> you helped me to remember also. So, this Ujvala Maharaj is present when Krishna unites with Madana, personification of Madana Mahabhav. So, for me, my feelings, my thinking about all this, is that Madana is present in Radhika in unlimited measurement, like say, waves who are not mild waves. So many gopis, they have waves, but of emotions. But some of emotions are mild, more turbulent, but Radhika's emotions towards Krishna are so high, unlimitedly high. And when and they this is the nature of love. They are always clashing between each other. Always is clashing. And there is no peace. Ananda is in clashing. So this Prema Vilasa Vivarta is also one of manifestations of this confusion because of existence of Madana in Radhika. This Madana simply be, are infused in Krishna's heart, completely infused in Krishna's heart. And he become mad and he forget for himself and also she forget for himself. And then starts Ujval. In Nivriti Nikunja special. I'm not speaking about Unat, but like you asked me just Ujval. 
So each other are helping. And, and what's going on? When Ujvala starts, Madana becomes more intense. <laughs> and when Madana becomes more intense, Ujvala becomes more intense. And in Nivriti Kunja, they exchange the roles of lovers. Sometimes Radhika is leading, sometimes they are equal, sometimes it's Krishna is leading, and all these beautiful Ananda Kinkaris are observing, watching directly. And this is Ananda for their hearts and their eyes. Because this is opportunity to serve. Because it will become vivarta in one moment. They will lose each other uh, consciousness about themselves. And they need help of Kinkaris. You remember this Lila, when the hair of Radhika is just in the, somehow it's happened that Radhika's one part of the hair just on the earrings of Krishna, how you call it? Entangled. Entangled, yes, my dear. Entangled. And this is the moment when Kinkaris are jumping in the scene and without any disturbance to the lovers, she removed this. And Radhika is not aware of that. Krishna is not aware. They are completely Radhe Radhe. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, it's really nice. Thank you. No. Nice. Thank you, Suniti, because you helped me to think about this, to feel it, because Gurudev many times explained that, maybe not directly on the lectures. It's always fresh, and it's always, it's always uh, fresh, yeah. nice to hear it and to get it, uh, you know, to, to feel it in the heart, to get it sunk in the heart, yeah. and to remember it. That is our practice. Jananda Maharaj say always, Ujjwal rasa, unnat ujjwal rasa. Explain that. I already explained. I can say it's also a very sweet man. I love this. Say it, explain, I want to listen again. <laughs> what because is ujjwal rasa and what is unnat ujjwal rasa? I already explained, Gurudev, that ujjwal rasa is when they are together in their loving exchange, and especially in the intimate moments. Also, there is some Ujval between Krishna and Sakis. And this kind of Ujval was explained before the appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, we can see here now from these words, real Ujwal, mo top Ujwal, most exalted Ujwala, was discovered, revealed, Especially through this conversation of Ramananda Rai and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, revealed, simply revealed. Oh. Jai Goranga. Jai. Jai Goranga. Yes, Gurudev. By the mercy of Goranga, we got Gora Anga. <laughs> that we can. Draw. Anga, Gurudev. <laughs> yes. We got Sangha. <laughs> By Sangha, we got Dora Anga. <laughs> so, this is the unique situation, actually. 
And we, it's not happening in all Kali Yuga. Someone saying each 14 Yuga, Kali Yuga or 28, it doesn't matter. It do, it's not appearing in each Kali Yuga. So it means that we cannot wait. <laughs> if we want to wait, we will wait so long for another opportunity. And then I have to finish because Gurudev will be very upset with me. To serve this Ujwal Rasa is another gift for all living beings and all jivas. Unat, beyond this Ujwal Rasa, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu described, there is one more thing. Beyond this, Unat, to serve this Ujwal Maharaj, to feel, to love this Ujwal Ras, but how? Through the position of Radha's maid servant. And this is the only. Oh, this is the point. Finally. <laughs> Uh, all the seekers who is, you can say, Narayan Maharaj, Anandas Babaji, Siddha Mahatma, Prabhupada, if you research, you will find in his book. You see, Gita. Sarva dharmani pratajye maam ekam. Maam ekam. Maam means me. My one takes shelter. Maam ekam sharnam braja. If you want to know me, you have to take shelter of my one. And who is the one of Radha, uh, Krishna? He's only Radhika. Without taking shelter of Radha Dasya, you can understand, easy to understand, but Unnat is not possible. Bhakti bhav, Shakti bhav, you will understand, but Manjari bhav, very difficult to understand. It's only mercy, Gurudev. How can we understand it? We are like caught, like the, the you cat. You are the writer of hidden path of devotion. <laughs> you write in German and you know, understand. Surprising. It's your mercy, Gurudev. It's nothing else. It's only it's so meaningful if the, you are not understand what is there. Because you, you got a liking and then you, you choose me. Then I got the inspiration. Like Ramananda Roy, he said also to Goranga, you make me speak. And Rupa also said, it's you who is speaking through me. So it's not us, Uri. Don't trick no. us. <laughs> you are talking. Gauranga Sundara is talking now. And my Gauravani, Amritavani is talking. <laughs> Where you wow, Gauravani, you have a new name. Amritavani Kitai. <laughs> yes. When he talks, I feel that Gora is talking. He's Amritavani. I will take this as your blessing. Yeah. Actually, Gurudev, Raghunath, 
is calling and not only Raghunath, Das Goswami. Many of our Acharyas are calling, especially in the beginning of their books, they're addressing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the son of Mother Sachi. Mm. Yeah? Because yeah. this is behind meaning. Yeah, yeah. Usually, we know the person, this is common sense, this is in traditions, in all traditions is like that, that we know the person's through his father. Yeah. And we say he is the son of this and that's that father, his name and this and that. But our Acharyas are addressing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the son of the mother, not the father. Wow. Wow. And the conclusion is <laughs> why? Because only mother can be so merciful, unlimitless, wow. that she can give everything what she has to beloved kids, children. Wow. Wow. And only mother is so unselfish. Wow, so can. So can so selfish that she doesn't care who is qualified, who is not qualified. And this is the reason why Acharyas are celebrating Chaitanya Mahaprabhu like a son of mother of Sachi. Wow. I also mm -hmm. read somewhere. <laughs> I never see that. You open my vision by telling really, it is really beautiful me. Wow. Like should they be, you only move your head. You <coughs> like it, this feeling? Wow, so great. You already wow. know that, because you did. <laughs> yeah. You like all Ramani? Wow, so nice. I read it on my yeah. Mohana is the cause of this exchange of clothes in the Leela. He managed to steal the mind of Madanakya Mahabhavati Shri Radha. Swamini does not hesitate when Mohana acts in such an enchanting way. Mohana is completely sold to Swamini's lotus feet. Swamini feels that she possesses him in the mood of Madhyata. She is mine. Wow. And and even Mohana cannot end that feeling. This is the falling. Pinnacle. This is the pinnacle of Madanakya Mahabhav. Because the feeling of Radharani, he is mine, is so intense, unlimitless. And only because of this feeling, he is mine, all these Madanakya Mahabhava's emotions are manifest to the utmost in Radhika Shah. This is manifestation of his, of her 
feeling. Is somebody eating shit or what? <laughs> what can we do? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Uh, Danidi, Danidi, you please. Yes, thank you. Beautiful Goranga, beautiful. Thank you, Baba. Only Radhe Radhe. Thank you, my Very, brother. very fit. Gurudev is doing everything for us, for each of us. So many devotees are not talking, but it doesn't mean that they are not feeling. Jai Gurudev. Thank you, Suniti. Thank you, Gauravani. Radhe Radhe. Yeah, my Swami Gita. Only, only Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Only Radhe Radhe. Falling at her feet. He begs her, give me one festival-like embrace. How eager Radhika's prana bandhu is falling at her feet. As if he is missing something. Yeah. Say Guru yeah. Dev Prana Bandhu. Krishna. Who can be Bandhu? Prana Bandhu. Hard friend. And Banda is also tied up. Right? Banda. Uh, it's like a well, knot. Knot. Mother also named Cupid <laughs> is mother. This mother is a Cupid. He, he attracts the whole universe. And Adiga. Make him to dance. <laughs> but uh, you are my no problem. I love our Unna to Jual Rasa. How eager. Huh. How eager. Yeah. How eager. How eager. <laughs> How eager Radhika Sprana Bandhu is. Eager. You understand the meaning of eager? He is eager. <laughs> and for Dasi, is the best place to see his eagerness. Rather, rather. Wow. 
Jai Gurudev, because I think this he will only show in Nivriti Nikunj. Because in other places he will not show, he will not be able to be so vulnerable in front of everyone, in all of Sakis, in Gopis. It is not possible. Yeah. He will hurt the feelings. But in Nivrit yeah. Nikunj, then Sri Radhika makes him so mad with her Madanakya Mahabhav that he forgets everything and he becomes like a, oh. you know. This is <laughs> Only Radha Dasi can see this. How he is eager with my son. Wow. That is Madan Sukhdaji. His all eagerness is satisfied. He is happy with his all eagerness. So, Madan Sukhata Kunj, in the middle of Radha Kunjuri. Yes, so this, all his eagerness is satisfied there. Sukhdam is the satisfaction he got. Now nothing to stop on after this. This is the highest. Very much. Meditate. And keep this 24-7 meditation. And never my Gora Sunda say a sthai bhav. He cannot sit the place where a sthai bhav is no place. It's so fake. Gora Sundar Suniti has me. Asun. By your mercy, Guruji, you give the blessings that we become mad because you are mad. I know. I have nothing. I am I'm a very ordinary person, eating, sleeping. Uh, what other thing for that? <laughs> it is sleeping, she was doing that. <laughs> 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 